It's October 2nd, 2019 in California. It's kind of, it's a pretty warm day. It's been cooler lately, but it's fairly warm. I wanted to show this tree over here, which I think is called the sweet gum maple. These are the pods that fall from those trees. They fall in great numbers and I can collect a whole bunch of them quite easily. It's not hard. They're just all over the ground usually. I call it a prickly ball tree because it's got this and it really hurts if you're in your bare feet. So got to wear slippers or shoes or something. But anyway, the reason I wanted to show this was these make good kindling. They're hard to light. They're not tender. But once they get burning, they're, they burn pretty hot. Maybe it's because of that gum part of the sweet gum. I don't know. But they burn pretty hot and they can light a pretty large piece of wood. For a bit of extra fun, I'm going to use a fire roll to start this fire. Now, you can make a fire roll with ash, of course. That's what's traditional. Or, let's see, right here. This is an oxygen absorber, such as you might find in a package of beef jerky or rice crackers or some other food. All it is inside, it's actually, I believe it's iron filings. It's just a bunch of rust. And as it rusts, I guess it absorbs the oxygen or something. But anyway, I'm going to use this. and unroll a cotton ball. You've seen better examples of this, I'm sure, on the internet. I'll put some of this um, powder on, kind of pulverized rusty iron. Don't really need a whole lot. So that's, that's more than enough. Anyway, and roll it up into a good, oh, 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 lost some. That's all right. Roll it up into a nice tight roll. Not that tight. Close enough. See if we can tighten this up a little more. Okay, so that's kind of good and tight. Here we go. Yep, I think that'll go. Starting to smoke. Yep, that ought to be just fine. Whew. Okay, well there's the prickly balls. You can see I hardly used any of them. But anyway, so we'll just let, let me blow on it. What I could use is an actual fan. You notice how smoke kind of seems to drift your way no matter which way you're standing. Okay, ready?
So you can see the prickly balls take a while to light, but once they get lighted, um, they'll be pretty good. This is just a plain old Weber barbecue. Alright, so it's about 60 seconds later and there's less smoke now. It's, it's burning much better. Okay, this is two minutes even later and they've all pretty much burned out. Now they're still glowing hot coals but yeah the smoke is all gone and those will just smolder for quite a while. Well okay about one hour later let's see what's going on. Well not all of them burned up but pretty good. On the bottom not too much ash and even some of these I wonder if they're actually yeah this one is it's all it's actually just ash yeah so yep they, they burn pretty well prickly ball fire <laughs>